So at Northwest Community Rehab, we generally take students in pairs or fours. So it might be two physios and two OT students, uh, might be four physio students. If there's other students in the area, so for example, speech therapy, and we've got a participant who we've identified that the speech referral is appropriate, we'll try to bring those students in on a sessional basis, um, particularly into this model of community rehab. There's definite advantages, I find, to taking multiple students at any one time. Uh, it gives the students a really good chance to develop teamwork skills, and I find this translates into their employability later on. Um, if you're getting students from different universities, that can be quite beneficial too. They bring different exposure, different experiences, different ideas to the table. So when students are having those group discussions, uh, it can make for a really good learning activity and build that into professional learning as well, particularly if you've gone across the disciplines. Disadvantages, well, some might say that there's extra paperwork associated with having extra students. How, that's probably true. However, I find as a clinical educator, Having multiple students means that the students can bounce off each other and some of those discussions that you would normally need to facilitate as educator to student, the actual two students might work out peer to peer. Um, so I think in some ways that actually saves the clinical educator a bit of time, it gives them a bit of breathing space as well. The services we've done shared placements over the, over the previous years. So for example, we had physio students who were placed both with Mount Isa Hospital and with the private practice in the area. Um, the students found this to be quite a good experience. It gave them the opportunity to see two very different sides of rural and remote practice. Um, logistically, probably the clinical educators had a bit of a bit of a challenge in finding times that suited both of them to catch up and see where the students were at. But we do find that where it's possible, we try to link students in. So if they come with one service for their placement, we do try to link them in with other services to develop that understanding of what goes on in rural and remote allied health.